battles erupted uh, between uh, black-clad uh, protesters and uh, the police, uh, the forces of order in Athens, uh, after what we saw was a real outpouring of grief, but also rage. Thousands and thousands of people were streaming in uh, the streets of cities across the country, whether it was in islands or <coughs> mainland Greece. Uh, really, you could feel that Greece today was united when it came to uh, the outrage that they feel uh, over the killing, the senseless and tragic killing of at least 57 people uh, on the railway network of Greece uh, last week. The placards they held were calling on murderers. They're angry at the system, angry at the decades of neglect. Not only uh, an anger directed very much of this administration, this conservative administration, which only a few days before the accidents were uh, saying how safe the railway system was, but also at previous administrations who kind of were kicking the can down the road. This isn't a new problem for Greece. I think the outrage we're seeing today is how uh, their the administrations are still not picking up the pieces that were left after the debt crisis, uh, kind of decimated the infrastructure of the country. But how there's this mentality of uh, Greeks trying to adjust to uh, a system of things just not working the way they should be. And Natalie, this all comes at a really interesting political moment in Greece, doesn't it? Um, this anger coming not long um, before elections are scheduled. Just tell us a little bit about what the political fallout of all of this may well be. Oof, it'll be interesting times, I can tell you this for Greece. I mean, uh, so far, the uh, conservative leader, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, had had a very comfortable lead ahead of his uh, main rival leftist, Syriza, uh, and its uh, and its chief, uh, Alexis Tsipra. Uh, but this accident is kind of like muddling the waters, if you like. He needs to call elections by this summer. They were originally uh, intended to call them by next month. Uh, but with this, uh, everything is now up in the air. I think today is a big test uh, for the conservative authorities and government. They're going to see what the appetite of the people is. For the moment, the appetite is rage. Uh, they want justice. They want punishment. Uh, they want action. Um, uh, let's see how fast uh, the government can actually uh, move to placate this anger and uh, if uh, its rival uh, can capitalize on this anger. Because let's not forget... The rival was uh, just four years ago in power, and it seemed that they uh, hadn't done as much as well. So uh, it'll be interesting times. Uh, uh, polls haven't yet come out since the accident, uh, but a lot needs to be done to overturn this mood of just pure ire and rage. Natalie Severikas, 